Okay, in this example, I want to evaluate, again, a, a fractional expression involving absolute value. And here we're going to have to just substitute in some values. So we want to evaluate the absolute value of negative b minus the absolute value of positive a, all divided by negative a. And we want to do this when a equals 3 and b equals negative 5. So, all right. Let's just basically fill everything in and hopefully simplify it down. So we've got the absolute value of negative b. In general, when I substitute, I like to put things in parentheses. I, I found it keeps me uh, from making mistakes. It's, it ends up being good form, especially if you have lots of things to substitute uh, because you might have to distribute this negative sign. So you'll see that as you go along. Um, but just in general, I like to put things in parentheses. So I'm simply replacing my b with negative 5. There's our minus sign. We have the absolute value of a, which is simply positive 3. We're dividing all that by negative a, which is negative 3. And if we keep simplifying this, we've got the negative of negative 5, which inside the bars, inside the absolute value, will be positive 5, minus the absolute value of positive 3, again being divided by negative 3. Well, the absolute value of positive 5 is 5. The absolute value of positive 3 is 3. So in the numerator, we're really getting the value 5 minus 3. Again, still over negative 3. And 5 minus 3, that simply gives us positive 2 over negative 3. And that will be our solution, negative 2 thirds. Um, and again, you could put the negative on the, on the top or out front, however you want to write it. Um, so, all right, just a little bit of substitution here. Again, you know, being careful. I think it's a good rule of thumb to put things in parentheses, um, although I clearly didn't do it on the A part. Maybe I, I could have. Um, but especially when you have these negatives, because you have to be, again, really careful to distribute things. So uh, that's the reason why I'm doing that there.